Right, here we have two hydraulic elevators at the Macy's here in Oak Brook, Illinois. We're gonna see which one comes down here first. Um, I'm guessing there's a freight elevator back there, but that's staff only. So we will see which of the two elevators comes down here first. It's taking its sweet time. So I'll pause this until it shows up. Alright, it turned out to be this one. Oh, it's a Houghton. So it's not a Montgomery. Let's go up to three. Door close button works. I like that. Certificates in the executive offices. Interesting. So it's a Schindler Houghton. The escalators here are by Montgomery. And of course Schindler maintains them. It's interesting seeing something that isn't a Montgomery in a Macy's. And I said these are hydraulic. They might be traction. I can't say for sure. So here's the third floor. We'll go back down to the first floor. Are you going down? No, we're Okay. Okay, I take it back. Door closed does not work. And that's typical of uh, older Schindlers and other Schindler owned brands. But newer Schindlers typically have it enabled unless the building owner specifies that they don't want that enabled in normal service. You got, huh, that's funny. The light switch is off, but the lights are on. We have a call switch. I'm not sure what the point of that is. Maybe it locks out a certain floor. So maybe that's a floor lockout. There it goes. And before we say that's it, we got two fire boxes, one for the drop key, and then an elevator key box. So this was used to store the drop key before this. And some jurisdictions have adopted the Knox elevator box, which is even more secure and has a Medeco master key that would open it kind of like it just like every Knox box in a jurisdiction yeah. it does have older Epco although it looks like these are pretty well worn but yep that's it